currently sat on my bedroom floor slightly strange with my chocolate porridge which i am having for my breakfast today i say happy monday but it's actually tuesday for you guys so happy tuesday however for me it is monday and we are having another productive day i did originally want to film a sunday reset but if i'm honest yesterday i had a a do nothing sunday which i don't normally have but it just kind of ended up being that way so I didn't really do anything to reset myself yesterday. However, today we need to do some worky things. I've just been putting off certain jobs that need to be done. And I need to stop putting it off. So I'm kind of dedicating today to doing the jobs that I don't, not that I don't want to do, but I've just been procrastinating on. So the plan for the day is I need to edit my video that is going live on there. No, it's going live tomorrow. So I need to edit that today. I also want to go to either B&M or The Range because I need to get, you guys can't see, some like baskets for up here because my room is honestly, it just looks a little bit messy. Like it looks okay right now, like behind me. But I just, over here next to my desk is a mess. That's also some dirty bed in that I need to wash. <laughs> but I just want things to look like they have a home and right now they don't look like that. I then also need to film some content for a brand called Cotton On that I'm working with over on Instagram. And I also, I want to say I want to go to the gym. One might be the wrong word. I feel like I need to go to the gym, but we'll just see how that one goes. So that's kind of like the outline of the day. I'm sure that I'm going to find some more things that need doing i also want to film some reels for instagram because i feel like i need to step up my game over on instagram and start posting more often so yeah but for now i'm gonna eat my porridge and i'll get back to you guys once i'm done i've just taken my vitamins for the day i'm currently taking the ritual symbiotic and the essential for women multivitamin which is a great time to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, Ritual. As you guys know, I've been taking Ritual Vitamins and Symbiotics for a while now. I want to say a few months and I honestly love them so much. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the Symbiotics and Ritual Symbiotic is a three-in-one. Not only are they a probiotic, but they are also a postbiotic and a prebiotic. And the top five best-selling gut supplements don't actually include a postbiotic, which is honestly crazy. So even more of a reason to go check out Ritual. It's designed to thrive because it is a delayed release capsule so it actually gives it time to reach the colon where probiotics do their best at working. Two other things I love about Ritual is the capsule is actually mint flavoured so you feel fresh from the inside out and it's also a subscription so it literally arrives straight at your door and it's free shipping. Because Ritual have sponsored this video, I do have a discount code for you guys so you can go join me and try out Ritual's products. The code is m 20 and that will save you 20% off your first month or there will be a link directly down below in the description box. So yeah, you can go check them out. However, it is currently 10 o'clock and we need to get moving. I feel like it's quite grey outside. So the mood is a little bit low, so we need to raise the mood and start getting productive. So I'm gonna go edit my video because that seems like an important thing that I need to be doing today so it can go up tomorrow. So I'm going to edit that. It's actually a painting chat so I'm really excited to see how it's turned out because I've never filmed that kind of video before. And then once that's done, we need to put on some makeup. <laughs> after you know the little ice lollies because i honestly love them so much but the video is edited video is currently uploading thumbnails done well actually i made a thumbnail i don't think i like it so i may redo that later well i definitely will be redoing that later however i'm about to do my makeup and i thought i'd talk you guys through my makeup routine not that anyone asked i'm just going to show you guys so i start off using the bobby brown face base this is expensive okay i think it's like 45 pounds but it is so worth it. Like it's honestly the best primer I've ever used. I'm now gonna apply concealer. I just use the Collection Perfection Long Last, I don't actually know what it is, concealer. I use a lighter one on the inside and the outside of my eyes. This concealer is really running low, but I refuse to buy more. And then I use a slightly darker shade 
just like in the middle. I don't know why I do this. I think I just did it one day and it stayed. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Iconic Radiance Booster. This isn't like a foundation foundation. I don't really know what it is, but I like it. I do switch out between this and a normal foundation. It just kind of depends on the mood. This is very glowy. So it just kind of depends what look I'm going for. I don't think I said the shades that I use. This is the shade Champagne Glow and Sand Glow. And I mix them together to try and get my perfect colour. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's super, super glowy. It's not a very high coverage foundation, but if you want a light coverage, a little bit of tint, a little bit of a glow, this is great. I'm now going to use the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop translucent powder. I just tip it out onto my desk because... I don't really know how else I'm meant to get it out. <laughs> and for bronzer, I use the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. Blush, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic in Pillow Talk. This isn't a very pigmented blush. It's a very glowy one, though. If I want to have a more bright blush, I will use a Lottie London one. Next up is brows, aka just the worst part of makeup, okay? I... I just can never get on with eyebrows. However, I'm going to use my NYX eyebrow pencil and where has it gone? I do have a benefit, oh here it is, benefit brow gel as well. I always find with brows, less is more. You know, if I start going crazy, I look like I have slugs on my eyes. And then for mascara, I use a mixture of two. I always use a waterproof mascara first because it keeps the curl of your lash. Top tip, if you have straight lashes that never hold a curl, curl them waterproof mascara and then i just top it up with a normal mascara this one is just the bobby brown one but i'm not too fussy on the normal mascara it's just the waterproof one this one is great so i'm now ready i'm not gonna lie my room absolutely stinks of soup which is kind of gross but i think i'm gonna take my cotton on photos now i'm gonna give you guys a little mini haul Ooh, that's the pair of jeans of the things that I picked up from Cotton On. I'm working with them over on Instagram, not on YouTube. I just like to show you guys the bits that I picked up. So the first pair of jeans I got are these straight baggy jeans, which I absolutely love. I already have the ripped pair. So I picked up a pair that are slightly darker wash and they have no rips. I then picked up this black rib top. These are my favourite tops ever. I need it in white. I have it in black and green so far stunning and then this is quite out there for me i picked up a green blazer because i thought that this would be nice with either like a black unitard or like a black bodycon dress this over the top with some black heels i thought that that'd be really really cute for like a meal like in london not that i do that very often but when i do i will be prepared and the last thing i got which i actually think is my favorite thing it got a gilet because this is like their September autumn clothing. So I thought that I'd pick up a gilet, even though I'm currently in a crop top and shorts today. But I on it, oh my god, the pockets. The pockets are fluffy. I love it when pockets are fluffy. I just think this is gonna be so nice. Am I gonna get makeup all over it? Yes. Will this look cute with a pair of leggings and a jumper and my platform converse? Yes, and I cannot wait to wear this but anyway i'm gonna get changed i actually think the outfit i'm gonna go for i got a pair of these jeans last month some beige jeans and i said jeans really funny just then and this black top i think that could be cute put on my converse i actually think i might just sit on the floor and take the photo which probably sounds a little bit strange you guys work for the day it's technically done and i'm very very happy about it all i need to do is that thumbnail again but that won't take me very long i just need to put on my creative hat and make it a little bit better because right now it's not cutting it however how cute is this outfit from cotton on honestly love these jeans i think i could do with getting them taken up maybe like an inch and then they'd be like the perfect length for me also this gilet that i told you guys about i mean oh, I am just obsessed with it. It doesn't even look that bad with this outfit. I thought it might be a little bit mismatched, but I actually kind of like it. However, I'm gonna get ready to go out. I don't know what to wear because it looks gray. It's been raining, but I think it's warm. Like, where is my phone so I can check the weather? I bet it's like 23 degrees. It's 24 degrees. I was very, very close. So I'm just a bit like, mm, I don't know. I think I... Mm, I want to go comfy, so I think I might just put on an outfit that I had on the other day. 
which is like black flared trousers, top, leather jacket over the shoulders, converse, call it a day. Okay, I'm all ready to go out. Like, I'm, I'm ready, okay? But I've just spoken myself out of going out because the weather is just like not cute and like, I don't really want to spend any money because I may or may not have made a large clothes order last night. And when I say large, like, it was a lot of money, okay? And I feel like I can make this situation. Let me show you the situation. So the situation is, this up here looks messy. And these boxes, this is dirty bedding still. Um, these boxes, like, this just needs to be sorted. But I kind of feel like I can, I can do something without spending money. So we can do this on a budget, you know. I've got loads of boxes. We can figure something out. However, I am going to film another reel. I think I actually haven't filmed any reels today. So I am going to film a reel because I started doing a reel about this outfit because I wore this the other day on Instagram and you guys went crazy for it. It was like this. I have a platform converse. This is from Princess Polly ASOS Lounge. Lounge don't actually sell these anymore. They're flared ribbed trousers, but loads of places sell them. So I'm going to film this reel and then I'm going to edit the reel and then I might upload the reel. And then we're gonna gut this stuff and do something with it all because clearly I don't need it because I haven't even gone in these boxes. So we need to be a little bit brutal and organized. And I also need to finish tidying up my room because I made it messy from taking photos. So it is now the next day. Kind of stopped vlogging yesterday because Aiden got home and I feel like with me vlogging, it's gonna be important to, you know, have boundaries and sometimes it's good to just switch off, spend some time with your boyfriend, chill, and yeah. So we're back today. We are gonna sort out the mess that I have created. As I said yesterday, it's not gonna look pretty. You know, I wanted this up here to look nice and neat. I don't think it's gonna look like that unless I want to invest in loads of boxes, which probably will be a good idea eventually but for now we're on a budget so we're just gonna go with what i've got i also just need to warn you guys it's gonna get messy it's gonna have to get worse before it gets better <laughs> was cut short my camera ran out of battery so it wasn't too good for me however this is what it is currently looking like it doesn't look the most neat but honestly i'm not mad at it i say this area here is completely clear just need to fold that up and put it somewhere not in my room but this is now what this little area is looking like i have just got my tripods down here my suitcases and a blanket with some spare like shopping bags on the top but it honestly looks so much tidier i've also sorted out in here so in this little tray i just have my sunglasses and then i have all of my well not all of my but i have a few of my bags and some extra little bits and bobs in there so that's now all tidy as well and then my room is currently looking like this it's not too bad it's got things but it's an easy fix so these are currently all my summer clothes so i keep all my winter clothes in my bed because it's like a it's an ottoman bed i think it's called so i keep all my winter clothes in there so i'm going to do a little switcheroo today i'm also going to be putting those bags underneath my bed as well because i don't really use them and then these photos here the smaller ones go above my bed i just need to get some command hooks and then the one behind it i don't know if i've shown you guys this but this is my vision board so i think i'm gonna put that on this wall here and then finally I just have a little pile of random things that i need to find homes for i feel like today's lunch vibe is very school packed lunch so i have some quavers a little baguette with some mayo cheese and cucumber it's honestly an ultimate sandwich and i have a little caramel bar and a little plum so i'm gonna eat this Thank 
The wardrobes have been swapped over. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I've kind of done it a little bit prematurely because it's still warm outside, like the temperature currently, even though it's gray, it's 22 degrees. So it's still quite warm, but I've kind of even sat here deciding what I'm gonna have for dinner. And I really don't know what to have because I'm home, well, I'm not home alone for dinner. My mum and my brother are here, but I only ever cook dinner for myself and Aiden. We never have, well, we do on a Sunday, but we don't normally have dinner all together. Like my mum and Brandon will sometimes have the same food or they'll do separate things. And then obviously me and Aiden have the same thing. But Aiden actually has a football game tonight. So he has already left. It's only quarter past five. And I gave him some pasta to take with him, but I don't really, I'm not the biggest pasta. And I always feel like people are gonna hate me for saying that because so many people love pasta, but I'm just not obsessed with it. So I'm gonna sit here thinking about what to have. And I, th I don't know, I think I might have, well, I don't know if we even have it. I was thinking though of having breaded fish and then a whole massive plate of like roasted veg. We have peppers, onions, potatoes, and broccoli. So I think I might have that if we have that. If we don't have that, then <laughs> I don't really know what to have. I know that we do have veggie dippers, like chicken dippers, but obviously fake meat. So Maybe I'll just have those instead with some roasted veg if we don't have that. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here because if I show you guys my dinner, then it's literally gonna be another time lapse and you're probably sick and tired of time lapses by now. So I hope you all did enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe and I shall see you in a new video. Bye.